In today's video, I'm going to be talking about products that I think are and are not worth the cost, things that you should probably spend more money on if you so choose to, and things that you can really just buy from the drugstore or lower priced items because they're really just not worth spending more money on them. So if you'd like to see that video, please keep watching. First thing is going to be skincare serums. This is my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I will be doing a full review on this product. This product retails this size for like $96, which is very expensive, but to me, you cannot go wrong with skincare. I tell clients all the time, they always ask me, like, are expensive cosmetics and skincare items really worth it? I always say I'd rather you spend a lot of money on your skincare and buy drugs or makeup because it really starts with the foundation, the basics, your skincare. So I'm all for skincare. I know not everybody may want to spend this much money on skincare, especially serums, but they're just really important. And this is my Holy Grail serum. I will forever purchase this. It has just made my skin so amazing. And I will do a full review later on this month. Yeah. <laughs> Next category of items are makeup brushes. I definitely think these are worth the price. Now, there are certain brands like It Cosmetics, I believe, or Real Techniques, which sell nice quality brushes at a more affordable price. But for the most part, I just really love my Sephora and MAC brushes. These are both blush brushes. Uh, one is more tapered and precise and one is more fluffy. Um, I just think that makeup brushes are worth the money. You can make your eyes or your foundation or your complexion, anything look really nice, even using drugstore products as long as you have really nice quality brushes. So these are things that I definitely would not skimp on. But like I said, you can always find them at a lower price point as well. Moisturizers. Now this is the Lancome Benefiat Multivital Sunscreen Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This is my moisturizer that I was using in the winter. I sometimes use it around my drier areas, but I'm mainly using my Philosophy one right now. But I definitely think moisturizers are worth spending a little more money on. The way I look at it is this is something you're putting on your skin that you're leaving on. Anything that you leave on your skin, I think if you like the product and it is a little more expensive, I believe it's worth it. It's always good to get something with skincare, not skincare, with sunscreen in it to help protect your skin from the harmful rays of the sun. And also, I just feel like the ingredients in higher priced skincare just tend to work better. Um, so I definitely don't mind spending a lot of money on moisturizers. The next product, the next product category or the next category of products which I left over at my vanity are primers. I have extremely oily skin. Now for the regular everyday guy or gal who just has normal skin, I think you could use primers from the drugstore or less expensive primers but because my skin is so very oily and expensive, primer is really worth it to me because it really helps control my oil and the one I use is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. They also make one for dry skin so I I would say if you have an extreme um, skin concern like dryness or oiliness it's really worth it to invest in a really good primer if it works for you now if you're really dry or oily and you find that something from the drugstore works for you by all means use that but I'm just sharing items that I don't mind spending a lot of money on because I just really think they're worth it the next thing I'm going to talk about is blush. This is my NARS blush in Angelica. I'm actually wearing it today. And this is one thing that I also think is worth it, blushes. NARS blushes are my favorite because they're very pigmented. They go on very nicely and they last forever. These retail now at about 30, but when I started buying them, they were 25. So they're definitely going up in price, but I really think they're worth it. Now there are some blushes that work just as nice that are lower priced, such as NYX but I just like the selection of blushes from NARS and the quality and I love the packaging too. But uh, NARS blushes are definitely worth it in my opinion. I also really, uh, expensive mascaras and I know a lot of people wouldn't agree with me but once again I think if you have lashes that don't really pop with a regular mascara and you need something that's a little more intense or dramatic 
high-end mascaras are amazing now if you have amazing long plush luscious lashes and you can use covergirl lash blush kudos to you i unfortunately am not one of those people i have to use a really nice mascara because i just have really bad lashes so this is one um category of products that i really just can't skimp out on and i actually used to use the dior primer but since i started using dior ecstasy it's amazing another thing that i want to talk about that isn't and a high price point uh, is my Neutrogena Microdermabrasion Tool and I've spoken about this in countless videos. This is really my number one skincare tool in the world and I think everyone should own it. It costs about $20 to $25 and it just really helps to resurface the texture of your skin and give you really nice skin and it just makes your skin so fresh and vibrant and smooth and it's literally amazing. Another product that I really think is worth it is an expensive foundation, a high-end foundation, just because of the fact that if you buy something from the drugstore, you're probably not going to be able to find your perfect match, and it's just easier to go into a department store or a MAC or Sephora or whatever and find your perfect shade of foundation. And you have a bigger selection, I think, that can be tailored to your actual skin type or with ingredients in there that would be more beneficial to you, whether you have mature skin or anything like that. Now, going more into products that I don't think are necessarily worth your money, uh, whereas you could probably skimp out on buying them at expensive stores, and you could probably go to drugstores, the first thing is going to be the Clarisonic. Now, I use my Clarisonic today. I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing, but there are items out on the market that are very similar to Clarisonic's that you can get for probably a quarter of the price. So you do not need to go out and buy a hundred to a two hundred and fifty dollar Clarisonic. Although I love mine, you can definitely find them at the drugstore and at Target and stuff for a cheaper price. Um, I also want to talk about eyeliners. <laughs> This is another question that clients always ask me about, like, are expensive eyeliners worth it? In my opinion, no. The gel eyeliner I use is by Maybelline, and it works fabulously. I love it. It's creamy. It's pigmented. It's black. It's perfect. I really don't think it's worth it to spend $25 on an eyeliner unless you just really love it. Like, I use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. That product is $19, but I just really love it because it's so easy to use. So that's why I buy that one. But when it comes to like a gel eyeliner, I'd rather spend $10 on one. And pencil eyeliners as well. I found some really nice ones at the drugstore. Um, another product, another category of products that I really don't think is worth spending a lot of money on, uh, it includes cleansers. I just don't think that something that you're going to wash off of your face is really worth spending upwards of $40. Now, I'm totally contradicting myself because I just bought a cleanser probably last month. That is $38. But that was when I really needed something to kind of rehab my skin. If you've watched the video, you already know I had a skincare nightmare and I really needed something to help calm my skin. That is why I purchased that cleanser. If you just need a regular everyday cleanser for normal skin, I would go with something from the drugstore. If you want something for acneic skin or to treat acne, that is when sometimes it would be beneficial to go to a store like Sephora and look for a cleanser. But honestly, some of the products at the drugstore are equally as good. So cleansers are something that I'm kind of on the fence about. There are some more high priced uh, cleansers that I really enjoy, but I try to save my money and spend it on things that I'm actually going to leave on my skin like moisturizers and serums and primers, whereas um, a cleanser I'm just going to wash off. And the last thing that I want to talk about, uh, they're going to be eyebrow products. Once again, I'm kind of contradicting myself. Right now I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow. That product is about $18. Now, for the amount of product that you get and how last, how long it lasts, I would probably put that in the category of being not expensive because it lasts for so many months. I've literally had mine for over six months and I've only put like a couple dents in it. But it is higher priced in the beginning, but I think 
um, the cost per use really surpasses any other drugstore product. That is why I put it in the lesser expensive category. But um, if you're just going to go for regular eyebrow pencils, I honestly don't think Anastasia Brow Wiz is worth it. That product is $21. It only lasts me a month. So when you're comparing a drugstore, eye a drugstore eyebrow pencil that may be $10, I think you're better off just going with that one because it's going to last the same amount of time, but it's half as expensive. But once again, if you just really find a product that is higher end, that's for your eyebrows, that just works really well for you, by all means, stick with that. But if you're just looking for lesser expensive options for just normal everyday makeup, sometimes it's better to go to the drugstore, like brow gels. You can definitely go buy an Anastasia brow gel for $25. Do I think it's worth it? No. I would just go buy a clear mascara from Maybelline from CVS for five. <laughs> so this is just kind of my thought process when choosing whether or not to save or splurge on makeup and skincare. My mom always asks me like, why do you spend so much money on blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, I can spend $100 on a serum because I buy other products in other categories that aren't so expensive. So it's all about kind of how you allocate your funds and what you see as being necessary as far as high end versus lower end. So that's all I wanted to tell you guys in this video. I hope it was helpful for you, gave you a little bit insight on some of my favorite products and things that I really think are worth splurging and some things that really aren't. Uh, this video was requested months ago. Sorry, I'm just getting around to it, but I did get it out there for whoever requested it. And yeah, if you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.